finally the gold belt has come back to Brooklyn. Nah, I mean, what better night to review it on WrestleMania 40 night? Nah, I mean, we got it playing on the screens. I know you hear it in the background. You know, pretty much on every screen in the house. So, we're going to do this. Not an unboxing because it wasn't shipped to me. I went down to Philadelphia and I picked it up. So, yeah, man. I haven't looked at it. It's been sitting in my house for two days. I picked it up on April 4th at the Superstore. Um, yeah, I brought it home. And, you know, I was just so excited that I got it. That, you know, I just kept it here on the couch. I've been so busy. Stuff like that. But, you know, now we're going we're gonna to pull it out. So, we get a really good look at it. From what I've seen on the pictures, it looks fucking amazing in the pictures. And I know that it comes restoned now. So, um, you know, well, not restoned. It originally comes with some nice cubic zirconia or probably some Swarovski, but it ain't the bullshit plastic stones that they usually put. So, um, that's, that's ill right there. You know, I don't know how many of these were made. They weren't numbered. So, we don't know. I know the other WrestleMania belts that they dropped. The ones that came in uh, four different designs, those were, I think, 200 units a piece. These all gold titles, there's no number on them. Like, if you look at, you know, the, the label over here, there's no, like, there's no number. I'll check, it, I'll check it on the back right now when we look at it, but for the most part, I don't think these came numbered, so we don't know how many of these are out there, but... Open it up. All right, so <clears throat> off the rip, the bag has like a kind of like a fake leather feel. So it's cool. I ain't gonna lie, nothing too special about the bag. But um, all right, cool. So now. Take a look at the belt tip, and then you know, I don't know if you can see, but um, ooh, fuck, I don't want to look at that side yet. But um, no number on the belt tip, man. Um, no numbers back here, so these were not numbered. All right, cool. Now we're gonna flip it over for the reveal, man. You know what I mean? We got Becky Lynch right now versus Rhea Ripley on the screen. Woo! All right, let's turn it over. Man. Oh, my people. Oh. Look at how fucking beautiful this fucking belt is. Wow. Oh my goodness. Oh man, yo, I gotta hit it with some flash. It definitely got the nice, beautiful stones on it. This is something. This is something. So it looks like we got a little defect right here. Um. Yeah, you know what's crazy about that? There's no way to exchange it. But, I ain't gonna stress it too much, man. It is what it is, you know? But, let's take the camera off. The tripod, let's get up on it, man. Alright, so we came close up on it, man. So, you know, this is the beautiful snap box. You know, man, it's really nice, this, this paint. It's like, uh... Can't really get it. Oh, there you can see a little better. It's kind of like a metallic. Looks better by the, when you look at it not by the eye, you know what I mean? But, um, yeah, definitely when you look at it by eye, it's got like this nice kind of metallic look to it. But, um, still so nice, man. And as you can see, the stones are nice. They're not the plastic bullshits. Man, comes with nice WrestleMania 40 side plates. Beautiful comes with the base plate. 
just like the, the undisputed belt. Comes with a nice all metal base plate. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. When I was saying about the defect, right? Um, where is it? Oh, it's right over here, was it? Yeah, right. Where am I? Right there. So um, I don't know if you can if you notice it. It's like a it's like a chip on the silver. But ain't no way to complain about that, you know. Bought it at superstore. Can't really do much about it. Um, there you see it better. You see, it's like a chip in the silver. But still nice, still fucking crazy. It's a shame that there's any defects on it. Cause what's crazy is that on the shop, this belt was released for seven hundred and fifty dollars plus tax, right? In the superstore, it was eight fifty plus tax. They raised it by a hundred dollars. So after taxes, it was nine hundred and eighteen dollars. So you know, when you're spending nine hundred and eighteen on a belt, you know you don't want to have no chips. But it is what it is, you know what I mean? So moving on. Everything else looks beautiful though, man. This is one nice fucking belt. I love it. Very nice. So like I said, there's no numbers on this belt. It's a mystery how many of these were made. You know, what's also a shame for anybody that went to the superstore knows what I, knows what I'm talking about, right? Yo, it was a nightmare over there. It was such a clusterfuck, right? Because what they did is, once they opened up the superstore, they allowed everybody to go inside, and instead of lining up the customers, you know, with um those dividers that they use, like when you go to the DMV and shit like that, instead of using those things to make like a line where it's organized. They let everybody bum rush the fucking counter, right? So you got two people working the counter and like a hundred people shouting orders at them. And this guy's just like picking people out like it was fucked up. You know what I mean? So I really hope that in the future WWE switches that up and allows, you know, for it to be fair for everybody. Put up a line where people can go two by two at the counter, you know, stuff like that. It's also crazy overwhelming for the guy that's running the counter i felt bad for the dude you know everybody shouting at him it's just not good it creates a lot of pressure it creates arguments with the fans you know one person's trying to get a belt another person's shouting over their shoulder and it's just it's too much shit man so fanatics wwe y'all gotta get that shit fixed y'all can't be doing that in the superstore yo. you're gonna create fights within the fans and it's gonna be fucked up cops gonna have to come people gonna get locked up so i don't know man that shit was just crazy but other than that i'm thankful i was able to get one i was trying to get two but i was only able to get one and the point of me even bringing up superstore was that nobody knows the amount of belts there is so you know let's say they would have made 200 of these right it would have been logical to break it down to 50 pieces per day, right? It's a four-day event. You got the 4th, the 5th, the 6th, and the 7th. You put 50 pieces per day. Everybody gets a chance at least, you know, per day to get one. And, you know, had I known that it was guaranteed that there was another 50 the next day, I would have went back and picked up another one. I got no problem going back to Philly. But, um, man, so nobody knows how many of these are, are out there, really. But... Moving along, um, let me stand it up. Uh, there's the stand-up view, you know what I mean? You see it, you know, we'll go by it. I'm trying to do this video and I'm staring at the TV at the same time because right now, you know, it's getting hot with Becky Lynch and Rhea Ripley. So, um, but you know, such fucking awesome detail. I love it, I love it, I love it, bro. I love it. When the Snoop Dogg belt came out, I was trying to get that one too, but I ain't have no luck with that one. So when this one dropped, I said, I got to get this one because, hold on, man. These people cheeking my attention away. But when I saw this one come out, I said, yo, I got to get this one because 
you know, I, I like Snoop, right? I fuck with Snoop. I'm a hip hop guy, right? I, I got Snoop Dogg albums in my collection. But um, the difference between this belt and the Snoop Dogg belt is that this is fully wrestling themed, you know? There's no uh, funny looking Snoop Dogg logo on it, so. But. Man, this fucking belt is nice, man. So uh, let me hit it with some flash. Oh, hit it with the flash now. You see the bling bling. Ooh, man, these stones is pretty. You know, this is the kind of job that you get when you send your belt out to like Richard Simpson, right? Comes back like this. It's, it's dope that WWE finally, you know, decided to use this kind of stones, man. Oh, this shit is pretty, bro. Fucking buttery flavor, bro. Ooh, it's getting spicy over there with Rhea and Becky. Oh, shit. This armor. But, um... Man, you see that bling bling, son? That shit is pretty, bro. Ooh. Yeah, man. So, we gonna get some pictures now of this butter right here. I'm gonna go put it up on the shelf. Oh man, this is grail, son. You know, this is grail, man. This is up there with my, with my my Wildcats Red Universal, stone by Richard Simpson with leather strap by Wildcats. It's also up there with my my Fiend Ox Blood tribute belt by Dropkick Leather. Oh man, this thing, I could look at this all day, yo. This shit is pretty, yo. Shit. Good word, let's get these flicks, but I'm gonna go put it up on the shelf so I can finish enjoying WrestleMania, yo. Look at that, baby, and that's no flash. Here's what I want y'all to see, man. The restone or the original stone. That's just off the light of the shelf right here. And look how pretty that is. Really did that thing with this belt right here. Very nice belt, man. Goes with my others. That's the red universal right there. This is Stones by Richard Simpson. And that's an authentic Wildcat strap right there. There goes my Bray Wyatt. You know what I mean? With the Ox Blood by Dropkick Leather. You got the Universal down. You know what I mean? I mean, the Undisputed. My bad. And you know, that's how that goes. Nice, baby. So now, the next belt I'm going to be looking out for, hopefully they drop it, is uh, that new Rock, you know what I mean, Legacy belt, seven plates on it, that's some pretty shit right there, so I'll be gunning for that one if they drop that next. Yeah. Let's hit it with the flash real quick. It's fucking ill. Yeah, so I'm going to end this off. I'm going to finish off WrestleMania. I want y'all to see that. Catch on the next video, man. Peace.